Today, I'm going to teach you how to create a simple social media graphic using Canva. When you first get to canva.com, you'll either need to A, create a new free account, or B, sign into your existing account. You'll create a new design by clicking this green button up on the top left hand corner. For example sake, today we're going to create a Facebook post, so we'll go ahead and click on that. And as you can see over on the left hand side, it'll give you a whole bunch of template options. Just one note, you'll want to make sure um, to note whether you are either choosing a paid template or a free template. It'll tell you in the squares right hand lower corner. For today, we're going to create an example countdown post. Say we're counting down to our annual gala. First, click on any of the text to update. Then we'll want to go ahead and change the fonts to better match our brand. In this case, we're going to choose Open Sans. And we'll change all of the text to Open Sans. I've changed the fonts, so now I'm just going to nudge everything to center it a bit. And now we'll update the colors to match our brand colors. So just select an element, go up to the right, the left hand corner, excuse me. If you know the hex value, you can go ahead and paste that in and it'll automatically change it. On the opposite side, we'll want to make it just a slightly darker version of that color. So we can use this toggle, make it just ever so slightly darker. Now say our secondary color is kind of a light green. So we'll update this gold color to the green. And we'll update the border to that color as well. So I'm just selecting these elements and it's allowing me to change the color. Since everything's a little bit squished in the center, we'll go ahead and make our border a little bit wider. And then we'll make our gala text wider so that it's all on one line since we've got the space now. And we'll move it over to the center. Now our layout's looking really nice, but let's say we want to push our brand just a little bit further and add our logo. We'll go over to the Elements tab on the left-hand side. We'll click on Shapes. And here we've got just a square. It makes it really large, but you can resize it to any size you need. So we'll make that a little smaller. Now that we've got a place for our logo to live, we'll go ahead and upload it. So go to Uploads over on the left-hand side. And we can drag and drop our logo in there. So now you can see it's over in this column over here. So we'll click and drag. And we'll just resize it a little bit. Make sure it's centered, and there we have it, a pretty nice looking social media graphic. Our very last step here is to go ahead and download it. So we'll go to download at the top in this teal bar, and you'll have the option to save it as a JPEG, PNG, PDF. Um, for something like this where it's just text and graphics, I would save it as a PNG. If you've got photos in there, I would probably save it as a JPEG. So we'll select PNG and then we'll go ahead and save it to our computer. Now that we've got that saved, we can close out. It's now saved on our computer, and if you have the Pro Canva for Work um, software, you can actually use the Resize tool, and Canva for Work is free for nonprofits, so look for the link in the blog post to learn more about that service. Thanks for watching and I hope this inspires you to go create some social media graphics of your own.